In the previous video, we talked about the simple, easy, do-it-yourself ways to create alkaline water, things like baking soda, and lemon juice, right? And while we're told those things will create alkaline water, what we're not told is that you're gonna miss out on a bunch of the benefits that come when you actually create that water with an ionized effect, right? And that can be done in a variety of different ways. But there are things made through that process that you do not get when you're just putting some baking soda or some lemon juice in your water. And so the previous video, if you haven't watched it, will be linked down below either in the description or maybe we'll put a pop-up here on the video itself that you can click on. Uh, but that talked more about pH. What we want to talk about right now is a whole different category, antioxidants. Well, something that you're going to see out there called ORP. All right, we're going to do a quick demo here to show you what happens to that antioxidant properties of the water when you add in baking soda and lemons. Um, but before we do that, I want to just give you a quick kind of maybe broad understanding of, of what ORP means. And it's easier to think about this from a, a food perspective. Um, we know perishable foods like produce, right? Fruits and vegetables. They degrade over time. If we can eat them closer to the time that they're picked, we sort of know this both experientially and just intuitively, tastes better, right? Those tomatoes you picked fresh before dinner in the garden are way better than the ones you pick up at the store, right? Or if you go to a, a farmer's market or you pick orchard with the kids and pick apples, those are always so much better than the type you get at the store. They taste better, but they're also more nutritious. They're more nutrient dense than the ones who may have taken 18 months from the time they come off the tree to the time they end up in your shopping cart, right? Water's kind of the same way. There's a perishable nature to it. And one of the ways you can scale that or, or measure that is with something called ORP. It stands for Oxidation Reduction Potential. And it's actually easier to understand if you go the other direction. So the potential to reduce oxidation, right? Oxidation just being aging and degrading and breaking down, like we're all doing day to day, right? But the same thing happens to our food, the same thing happens to our alkaline water. And so it's a scale, positive on one side, negative on the other. Positive numbers are things that would be oxidations or oxidizers. They're the things that are going to break down living cells. They actually kind of destroy life. You want positive numbers in your public pool, right? Because we don't want things like bacteria and viruses and other stuff to be living in public pools. We want to take care of those problems. Drinking water at the taps the same way. We don't want bacteria in our tap water. One of the ways you can prevent that or keep or mitigate that is by having a positive ORP in your water. But do we want to drink things that destroy life? Well, probably not. It'd be better if we go on the other side of the spectrum and drink a negative number. A negative number symbolizing or, or measuring antioxidant capability in the water. And so that's what we're going to check now. We're actually going to zoom the camera in here a little bit more so you can get a better clear view of both what's happening in the water and the numbers that they're producing. But we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add a little baking soda. We're going to add some lemon juice. And then we're going to check out and see what our alkaline water pitcher does as well. All right, before we get started on the quick test, um, this is an ORP meter. I've got it turned on already. This is a way to quickly measure what level of ORP we're looking at in the water. So you just simply put it in a glass, whatever substance you're testing, and it gives you a number. And we're going to start here. This is just like the test we did with the, the pH test. We're going to just start with some normal water. This one's showing about a 460, 470, 480 now. Positive number. So that would not be a good thing to drink, right? I'm actually going to start this one in our pitcher because it's going to take a little bit of time to process through there. And then we'll jump over here, let's do the lemon next. Should see a very similar number. Yep, right around 500 or so. And let's add a little lemon juice to this and see what happens. What happens here? Well, not a lot of change actually. Still right around that 500 millivolt, positive number. So again, from an ORP standpoint, well that's not something we want to be consuming, would it? may give us other benefits, or maybe minerals in there and whatnot, but you're not going to get the ORP change that you want. Doing a quick rinse here and some other clean water. And now let's do the baking soda. What do we have here? Yeah, right around 400 or so. We'll do a couple of sprinkles. Mix that up. And let's see what happens. It's coming down a little bit but we're still in that positive 300, 330-ish range. So again, not much change happening on this sample. All right, so let's jump over now, do a quick rinse. Let's jump over here to our pitcher, see what we're getting here. Pour it back in that same glass. 
And let's do a check. Well, it's already jumped over to negative 270. Pretty good change in just a few minutes with a little bitty filter like that. Negative 370 now, 365. So what do we notice? Well, the pitcher is the only one here that created an antioxidant water. Baking soda, lemon juice didn't do it. So what's the takeaway here? Lemon juice and baking soda are bad for you? No. Use appropriately, both of those are just fine. The takeaway needs to be that if you really want to enjoy the full complement of benefits that alkaline water provides, there's no shortcut. There's no underground, hidden secret formula that's going to save the day for you. The reason alkaline water is gaining so much popularity and so many people are enjoying it is because it's not just sodium bicarbonate. There are other things happening here that our body needs. So, if you have more questions, hit the comments down below. You can give us a call as well. Our contact info will be in the description. You can reach out to us that way. The good news is, while those other things that you may have seen seem to be a little bit too good to be true, they are, the good thing is that you don't have to spend thousands of dollars anymore to enjoy the benefits. There are very simple, cost-effective ways to create the water, simple, easy, and in your own home. So, we hope this has helped. We hope this has sort of kind of cleared the murkiness out of the alkaline water market, and we look forward to talking with you soon. Bye-bye.